Authorities are investigating after two dogs were shot in two separate incidents over the last two weeks in rural Carver County. Fox 9's Mary McGuire spoke with the owners of one of those dogs and shares her concerns. Get above. Oso and Gracie are more than just pets to Melissa Ferris. They are her companions and soulmates. Call me dramatic, but I love my dog more than your muffs, honey. <laughs> <laughs> On Wednesday morning, she was at her boyfriend's property near New Germany in Carver County when the two dogs escaped. About 30 minutes later, she got a phone call from a neighbor. I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe my dog had been shot. Oso shot four times in the head and neck and Gracie twice near her tail. At that point, like you're, you're really trying to kill him. They rushed to the nearest emergency vet. The whole time Oso was just gushing blood. I mean, there was so much blood coming out. It was like a World War II movie. He shot at the dog, uh, struck it at least once. He heard the dog yelp and the dog left. Carver County Sheriff Jason Camrude says a nearby homeowner shot at the dogs after he saw them attack his pet peacock. Ferris maintains the dogs had GPS trackers on their collars, though, and based on where they were, she doesn't believe that story. But this isn't the only case of a dog being shot in Carver County in recent weeks. In nearby Hollywood Township, a dog was shot and killed with a bow and arrow earlier this month. The DNR is now looking at that case because it happened when the alleged shooter was hunting and criminal charges may be possible. Oso shooting is also being investigated. I'm not anticipating any charges coming from that based on what I understand of the statutes. Minnesota law allows people to protect their livestock, poultry or pets from dogs on their property. But Ferris says just because it's legal doesn't mean it's right. Why didn't you fire some warning shots if you had to have a gun? Why couldn't you just make some noise? Oso is still recovering here at Blue Pearl in Eden Prairie. Melissa tells me it's still unclear when he'll be well enough to go home. Mary McGuire, Fox 9. At this point, there is no indication that the two shooting incidents are connected. Well, developing